The next time you pass a vendor peddling goods on the street, don't belittle him or her. They might be the next business magnates of our country. The hero of our story is Alfredo Yao. His was not a life born in silver platters. Before achieving success, he encountered so many difficulties. At the age of 12, his father died. His mother was left to support him and his siblings by becoming a sidewalk vendor. As the eldest in a brood of six, the 13-year-old stepped up to help support his family. He spent his youth running a stall in the streets of Manila. If eating three times a day is normal for us. For him, it was a struggle. They'd be lucky if they'll be having a complete meal in a day. There were also times that they need to sleep on the sidewalks. A relative was able to give financial aid, which allowed him to reach, but not complete, college at a prestigious university. Alfredo took several odd jobs, which included time at a printing press. During his stay there, he learned how to print cellophane wrappers for candies and biscuits. His experience prompted him to start his own printing business. He started a printing business at age 17, with a 3,000 pesos loan from what is today known as the Development Bank of the Philippines. His printing business was doing well. The business thrived for about 20 years until he saw the potentials of the DOI packs, then the latest European packaging technology. In 1979, while on a business tour of Europe, he stumbled across a new way of packaging. It's a sealed bag made of plastic and aluminum that's designed to stand upright. Initially, his first intention was to offer the doy pack packaging to some local juice manufacturers, but since there were no takers, he ventured into the juice manufacturing business himself. He concocted the juice in his own kitchen. This could have been a strike of destiny. It became an instant hit as every mother saw the practicality of putting the light but tightly packed orange drinks in their kids' lunch boxes. Kids loved it that their chilled fruit drinks stayed cold and fresh till snack time. Zesto was born. When asked the meaning behind his brand, zest means the citrus peel in French, and then he added an O to make the sound more rounded. It was meant to be pronounced Zesto, but for Filipinos it became Zestu. The Zesto juice drink became a staple of our childhood snacks. It became the country's largest juice brand and can be found in almost every lunchbox of every kid that goes to school. Today, Zesto controls 80% of the juice market and it has expanded to markets in Australia, China, New Zealand, Korea, Singapore, US, and several countries in Europe. The boy who once faced the harsh realities of life now become a successful juice manufacturer. Be amazed with our stories. For more inspiring and amazing stories, Please click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell.